welcome back today we'll be talking about breast height so breast height is defined as almost universally adopted standard height for measuring girth diameter ba and basal area of standing trees this breast height is applicable in some of the british former british colonies and it's taken at a height of 1.37 meter in some commonwealth countries it is taken as 1.3 meter which has also been recommended by fao as a standard for international adherence now uh, you can see in the pictures breast height is taken uh, in the above picture with the help of a tree caliper and directly and uh, in the picture below uh, the man is taking uh, this breast height indirectly using girth of the tree with the help of a measuring tape then converting this girth into diameter now breast height is uh, accepted at a, as a standard height for diameter or girth measurement because of the following reasons it's convenient because taking height at a uh, taking uh, diameter at a height of 1.37 uh, makes it convenient for a person who is uh, while standing to measure uh, girth or diameter of a tree usually uh, grasses and thorns are found at the base of the tree just to avoid those thorns this height looks appropriate uh, some trees also develop swelling at the base so to avoid that uh, swelling at the basal area this height looks convenient for taking diameter or girth now uh, the stump height is variable globally but breast height has been standardized this is the reason what brings uniformity into the results uh, in the studies that are uh, conducted globally now there are certain rules governing breast height measurements it has to be 1.37 meter from the ground level and the place where you are going to take girth or the measurement you have to cross mark that with the help of a chalk or with the help of a paint or with the help of an uh, equipment known as staff you can place that in front of the tree while taking that uh, you know these readings now if you on uh, are uh, if a tree is placed on the uh, hill you have to take dbh on the upper hill side now if a tree is swollen you have to take it uh, below the swollen portion or above the swollen portion of the tree now if a uh, forking some trees develop forking and the forking may be uh, may start uh, above 1.37 meter then you have to count it as a single tree if forking starts below 1.37 meter less than 1.37 meter height you have to count them as two trees for the measurement of diameter or girth S uh, some trees develop buttresses uh, which is uh, you know similar to the swollen tree you can uh, adjust conveniently above that uh, buttress formation and take the diameter now sometimes uh, there are creepers moss lichens over the tree which may uh, overestimate the diameter or girth of the tree you just have to take care of that now this is these are the pictures which show you now see this is on the level ground the di uh, diameter at breast height is taken at a height of 1.37 meter very appropriately now if it's a slope if the tree is on a slope but it is uh, the tree is standing upright you have to take dbh like this as shown in the picture now sometimes on a sloping ground the tree has a lean so in that case you have to take uh, diameter at breast height on the upper hill side but you have to take care that the height should go along the lean of the tree 
Sometimes you have branches and if a branch arises at 1.37 meter height, you can conveniently move your, uh, you know, uh, breast height uh, above or below the branch so, so as to avoid that branch. Now, if forking is uh, placed at 1.37 meter, you conveniently take the two st stems separately and take their diameters or girth individually. Now, if forking is above 1.37 meter, you have to take it as a single tree for the consideration of diameter.